<laughs> What's up, girl? Hey, honey. <laughs> I hope you got a lot to say today, because I don't know nothing. Well, well, you know a little empire. <laughs> I know when, a little when, empire. Let's get that out the okay, way. Okay, okay. So, Taraji P. Henson was on this new show yeah. um, with the Hollywood Reporter. You know, they cover all the right. moving and shaking right, and dealing right. in Hollywood, right? Where they had one of their reporters just talk to actresses. So, it was her and Viola Davis and a couple of other ones, okay. like these dramatic actresses, just talking about their business. And, right. and so, she's doing more low-key stuff now. Because like, they're filming yeah because they're filming the so that they're, they're taking their time but the season one dvd is coming out september 15th so people can catch up right so we yes. can catch up a couple of weeks before and what this dvd some of the extras included in it oh. are going to be like the full performances so they're going to have extras right so yes i might have to you might have to just get, that. get it yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you could just you know you can buy it digitally because i know you don't want to put it up on the shelf no. me i'm going to put it up on the shelf you are. Yes, you know I am. <laughs> I might get two copies. <laughs> well, I can't wait. That's the end of September, the new season starts. Right. So we'll, well, now let's talk about the have and have nots. Let's I know you're do. not called No, up. I'm not, but I'm working on it. You know what? It, it's I Tyler know. Perry, thank you so much for bringing it back strong. Good, um, good, good, good. To me, the most interesting thing that happened was an observation my husband made. <laughs> the husband's always come up yeah, with it. Yeah, I got they? him watching it. <laughs> so, you know that, there's that, that he's a businessman, white guy, he's been trying to court Candace. Yes. My husband believes that he was hired by Jim Cryer. Why not? And, and the reason why my husband believes that, because... He flew her off to New York yeah. and wine and niner, but he kept talking about investments and how she needs to invest her money. Which means he might be trying to get his trying money back. Trying to get his money back. Because somebody else had asked Jim about that. Um, yeah. About what are you doing about that money, uh, David? Harrington. Yeah. And he said, what are you doing about that money? He was like, I'm working on that. Yeah, because so, Kat was basically like, you're not getting jacked from me. Right. This Oscar guy is too good to be true. And even Candace at one point mm -hmm. the last show was like, What's going on? What do you want from me? I mean, you know, well, she kind of they, all, they always say if it's too good, if it feels too good to be true, it probably <laughs> Oh, he's is. just like a knight in shining armor. Plus, yeah. she's let him know all the stuff she's done, and he's still with. Mm. And he's still. My with husband's her. right. And he some because some other man would have gone running the other way. No, thi this no. girl is crazy. This let me girl, go this other exactly. way. <laughs> exactly. A man that could just afford to get in a jet plane and everything, right. and then Candace really. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, right. She she's pretty. I don't but, know about all that. But she still, you know, right. mm -hmm. got a lot of that going on in her. But let's talk about Mr. Robinson, yes, the one did that you, you watch encouraged it? me to watch. Did you watch it? I did. I the, watched both did episodes. Did you enjoy the songs from the Nasty Delicious? I did. But that I did. Is, that's Mr. Robinson. It's Craig Robinson, who has been on a lot of NBC, NBC shows. Right. right. This is an NBC show. It's Wednesdays at 8 Central. Right. And... Craig Robinson was in Hot Tub Time Machine and Hot Tub Time Machine 2. And he's right. just this droll, funny guy. Right. You know, and um, he's got this band, and then he becomes a substitute music teacher. Exactly. And the band is called Nasty Delicious. I know, and then I think they hired him. They ended up hiring right, him. Right, they the hired him. It turns out the superintendent is like a big fan. Well, what do you think about the show, though? What I, are your thoughts? I think it has a long way to go. Yes. There's some really funny spots, though. I think the brother's role is underdeveloped. I think that Definitely. the, the um, I love the actor. I think his name is Brandon T. Jenkins or something uh, like that. I think the actor, I've seen him in several things. He was in Percy Jackson, the right. lightning and the lightning thief. And he was, he's in that series of movies. But he was in Roll Bounce. And I've loved him in everything I've seen him in. And it's just kind of weird right. seeing him after playing all these kids, playing a grown-up, Grown, right. ne'er-do-well, um, spending all his money brother to Craig Robinson. Like, it's kind of weird to see Craig Robinson's character be the sane one. Exactly. You know, I, I think there is some, they're going to have to develop it yeah. some more. But but I do just, like the... Things were not flowing to me. Right. I, I didn't, I don't know if I... Perry Gilpin's on time. it. She played Roz on Frasier. She's yeah. the principal. But I just, I don't know, it just yeah. needs to, it needs to gel a little more. It needs more to gel a little I mean, more. I'm, I'm, I'm willing I'm to watch it. it. I'm going to hold out. I'm going to say the first I'm going to continue with right. it. Right. The first episode was not the best. I've seen the first six. Oh, but, it gets better. Then. Yes. Oh, by, the, by the third episode, you know the characters and you know what they're about. And I think my favorite character is that um, yeah. superintendent-like dude. I, I like the supervisor. Him too. He's yeah, just and maybe hilarious. it's just character development. But I'm gonna ride it out yeah. and see how it goes. Right. Oh, and Megan Good is on it. Who she's been around since she 
um, co-starring Eve's Bayou. That's right. That's she's right. been the she's object great. object of many males' affections in all the movies so that are filled have some with black good people. actors and actresses yeah. in there. It's just. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Half hour, half hour multi camera comedies are hard to make work, and we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I think you're right, but I'm I, gonna stick with it. My kid loves it. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the music. She likes the music. She likes the theme song. She likes the music. She likes the way that you can actually learn how to do the music. When, like when he was teaching the kids how to make right, the songs, it. just using their you voices. You can actually learn from yeah, it. Yeah, you can learn from it. So my kid loves that part. But it's not an empire. No, it's not um, an empire. <laughs> what is? No, there's not a lot. Well, let's go. What what we're talking about the news. Yeah. Uh, is it? I guess it's. Uh, they call him Cecil. Yeah, you know, Cecil I say the Cecil. lion. I the know. Lion. I had a friend in college whose name was spelled the same yeah, way. In Ohio, we had a lot of Cecils. We didn't have a lot of right. Cecils. In Georgia, <laughs> we called him Cecil. But in Florida, he's like, my name is Cecil. I guess it Cecil is a, a more Cecil is a girl or something, well, right? Ce Cecil. Cecil is too close to Cecil, which is the feminine form of the name. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. Cecil, the lion. Yeah. Okay. Bless so the person that led this dentist. Yeah. I want to say he's from Minneapolis led him on the hunt was on the news yesterday saying they did nothing wrong because uh -huh. remember it's alleged that they lured the lion they out lured of with, with a carcass yeah but so that's interesting but apparently the dentist practice is still closed because yeah. he's received a lot of death threats. and i saw somebody wrote something on the side of his house oh my god yeah there was some guy in florida with the same name and people have been calling him and threatening right. him i mean th they want this guy there have been people quoted as saying they want him hung up and Hung up, I don't, I mean, at this point, should he come and out and make a public statement? Does he, what does well, he do? I don't know. One thing about these big game hunters, and I'm not trying to be on his side or anything, because right. if, if it was wrong, it was wrong, is that they depend on the guides to take them where they need to go. They don't know Africa. But at one point. They just fly in to shoot. But at one point, somebody cut the collar off of the, of the line. And see, that's wrong, because if. That so happened, they had to that know was it was after, being tracked. Right, that was after the that fact. That was after the fact. And though. see, that's, that's just wrong. And it's like, you know, right. I like the, rep I'm, I'm glad that the, there were false reports that Cecil the Lion, um, that his brother was killed, because oh, no, that would have just been that. That too bad. much. But people are outraged that people are outraged by it. I know, but I know. There's room to be outraged by more than one thing at one time. I mean, this just this morning, I'm outraged by like 10 things. <laughs> And it's as small as, dang, the toilet paper tore in the wrong spot. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> now. To, to, no, no, to, as a minute. Much, to as big as, well, big to me, this curl right here will not do what it's supposed <laughs> well, to no, do. Not, we all can't have perfect lives. Uh, but uh, that's what I'm saying. But, it's like there is room to be outraged well, but you by know, more I have been seen on the internet where people have been saying, there's some people that care more about this lion than black lies. But so see, there's that thing going But see, on. that's what I'm saying. You can be outraged by the lion because you're worried about the environment, and you can be outraged by black lives because you're worried about yourself. I got stopped the other day for the oh, same man. thing that Samuel DeBose got stopped for, which was the front license plate. I had the license plate. You know, I told the cop, and I was not being belligerent, oh, so Lord, please do not say? say I was. I told the cop, I said, you know this is the same, after I asked him why am I being stopped, I said, you know this is the same reason they stopped Samuel DeBose, and he's dead now. <gasps> no, you didn't. Well, he was, uh, he had his <laughs> hand on his hip and stuff, and I oh, was like, well, yeah, I do I really look this. threatening to you? I got a kid in the back seat. I mean, would Did your baby say anything? She said, mommy? Cops take bad people to jail. So basically, why is he stopping us? <laughs> right. <laughs> but you know, I have to discount what she says sometimes. Because this morning I said, I love you, baby. And she said, no, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was polite. <laughs> it was polite. But it was, some kids just don't want happy talk in the morning. No, no thank you. <laughs> I like my daughter. I say, good morning. She's like, I heard you. <laughs> don't say it they again. They don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be up. <laughs> anyway. Well, no, we did have another movie theater shooting. Yeah, we and did. And this one was in, was it Minneapolis? This one was in Nashville. Nashville, yeah. This one was in Nashville. Nashville, okay. Well, at least he didn't kill anyone. At he least. got killed, though. But it's, you know what? Wait for the movie to come on Netflix 
and watching in the comfort of your own home, surrounded by your guns, see, that's shoot up your house. Fear. My fear is Don't that we're going to be up. walking through metal detectors to go see a movie. Well, here's the thing. I told you I went to see Pixels the other day, which I like, contrary to all of the and critics. that's like more of a kiddie type show, right? Well, kind of. But there were cops sitting outside of the movie theater. Oh, man. And... I'm like, is this so going to be our new reality? Well, well it, how will that affect ticket sales? Well, the young boy is on trial al- is, is on trial right now for the shootings in Colorado during right. the Batman movie. Is this copycat stuff? It just seems so timely. This, this is back in the news I with think, the Colorado? I think what happens is it's a tactical maneuver by the people who want to shoot someone somewhere. It's already dark in the theater. And it, they're, they're Nobody's catch checking them off your, guard. Right. Nobody's checking your stuff as you go in. Right. You know, it used to be they checked your bag for juju bees and, and water in a bottle, and now they got to check you for a gun. But it's just like, you know, I guess they could, I mean, I don't know how it's going to impact ticket sales. Yeah, the movie I don't think it will. I guess if they started checking you or they tighten security, Who's to say that these people wouldn't just walk to the nearest library? Right. I or mean, just or just somewhere that's contained right. that, if they want that to do has it, they're actual people it. in it. Which you brought up library. I don't know if a lot of people are going there these days, so they might not pick the library. Oh, that's true. That's so true. everybody go to the library and get <laughs> rent DVDs from the library. <laughs> You're right. You'd be safe. You'd be safer. I I just, I, it just to me the movie is a nice place you could take the family it and enjoy is. the movie. It, and, and now you're, it's, now to me, I know they don't want to call it domestic terrorism, but anything that upsets right. the normal way that you go about your life, to me is domestic right. terrorism. Right. And making a movie theater someplace where I can't really, I've got to watch the movie with one eye and you with the other, <laughs> that's domestic terrorism. <laughs> I mean, are people going to start strapping with their guns? Exactly. Going Is it going to be like it was in the 90s where you go see High Learning or one of the one of the black cast movies and somebody like, hey, I love this movie so much, I just got to shoot a gun. I know. You know? <laughs> I mean, you do. I bet that that there might be the more day. people carrying weapons. Yeah. I think the open carry laws are, are helping to make it so that the defenders can be there, but also right. so the offenders can be there. Right, and so right. it's just, it's really sad is what it is. Oh, it's very sad. Yeah, it's it's so much. Oh, uh, you know what I thought was really stuff, cool? Um, George W. Bush yeah. showed up. Showed up for his jury, for his jury duty. He was your number now, tw- if anybody 27. Got, if anybody could have gotten out of jury duty, it seems like it would have been him. But you know, so but I, one of the anyway. other jurors was like, we thought it, there was this anonymous juror that maybe they didn't. This person didn't hardly ever show up, and and here walks the former president. Right, and he took photos. He was really great. Yeah, they said he stuck around and, and he, photos, and, and, and he probably would have served great. if he had been chosen. They said the only reason he wasn't chosen was because of his high number. Right, exactly. Well, I mean, if you haven't read it, it's great. It's in today's. Um, it's Thursday's Dallas Morning News. Yeah. You read on DallasNews.com. Which is chock Download full of the stuff. free app. It's, <laughs> the app is lovely. But you just have to check this stuff out. Yeah, I mean, the federal appeals court shut down the Texas voter ID law, and I know that was really contentious. And we've got a full report on that, oh, too. I know. And we'll be That's following front, it right. because knowing our... Texas. They'll probably appeal well, that. They're going to appeal that. Right. They're probably actually no. This was the federal. This was the appeals court that did it. Yeah, but it was a panel though. Okay. They might ask for it to be heard before the whole deal, all of them or something like. Yeah. Well, but before we end, I need to talk about this butt case situation. Oh yeah, yeah. We have apparently to. remember um, Who, Riri, Riri and these people that were injecting <laughs> yes, people's our, butts, and, and we had a death. And and yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, they, they might be linked, or at least uh, Riri, anyway, might be linked to a, a death but, buttock enhancement procedure that ended up killing a 22-year-old woman And this was in St. Louis. Louis. Here's right. the thing. I'm checking out this stuff, and they, like, took off Wee Wee's monitoring device because she was compliant, which meant that, for all they know, she could have hopped, hopped a plane to St. Louis, killed somebody, and then come back here. So... She Especially could, if she's thinking that she's done nothing wrong, right? That it wasn't well, her fault. Well, I would fault. just tell women if you are not blessed, yeah, with a big dunk dunk. You know they have those panties now they with the padding. Do with the padding, yeah, you can get those. You, you can do get not those. have to. And you I know it's a cheap it. this this butt injection. You can get on cheap in somebody's well, you know what back get, room. Get, get on the stair climber, and it, it it'll help lift it. 
But but do with a little some, exercise. With some women, with some I women, know some they, women. Don't. They might need a little pad, and it's fine to get it's the padding fine. if you do it professionally, to, or right. go get those panties with the built-in. Right. In. Do it professionally. Cushion. Pay the money. Right. There are some things you should not buy at a discount. And and the right. booty injection one is of one the, of them. One of them is pork, and one <laughs> of them is booty injections. <laughs> <laughs> there are just some things you don't buy at a discount. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll follow Riri and see where this, this goes and she's yeah, going to that's going. be uh, implicated in this uh, Girl, St. Louis stuff. how about that has been a lot of tasty goodness with men. I try not to objectify men. I try not to. What? But then they go and do stuff like Lenny Kravitz flashing his stuff for everybody oh, to see on the... Well, what? I know. I saw. I yeah. saw that. He was. He was. Is that real? I mean, is that? Stage. I didn't know if somebody had doctored all up I, picture. All I know is that he forwarded a text. He tweeted out a text that he got from Steven Tyler going, "Man, you didn't tell me it was pierced." And I'm like, number one, why y'all talking about it? Well, how did number his, two, how did his thing come to be hanging out? I don't out? know. I, I mean, he know. was on the stage well, with know, a guitar. He, he, he and dances. Uh, he dances pretty wild. Yeah, I sometimes. guess he, maybe he doesn't wear underwear in his pants. Ma got of course he doesn't. He's Lenny Kravitz. Yeah, he wouldn't wear underwear. He wouldn't <laughs> wear underwear. And then Idris Elba is the first male s solo to be on the cover of Maxim. You know, these oh, are the he's people. So fine. Yes, these yes. are the people. Maxim. They're the people who always have like the best looking. They name the top best looking female in Hollywood, the woman we right, all love. Right, right. Anyway, they got Idrissa on the cover looking like a good chicken burrito. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> With sour cream sauce. Oh, wow. On a bed of cilantro rice. With some guacamole With on the side. With some guacamole on the side. <laughs> well, girl, she, we better head back. <laughs> all right, right, I'll talk to you later right, on that bye. night. <laughs>